My name is Matthew Carroll. I'm a PhD student in Dr. Danny Singh's lab in Iowa State, uh, and I have a majoring in plant breeding. Hello, I'm Anirudh Bawadi, working with Dr. Baskar as a PhD student here at Iowa State University. So we are planning to use uh, satellite imagery for high resolution plant phenotyping for all our uh, field research. Uh, well, there's many advantages of using satellite data, and especially now that we're having very high resolution satellite data, we have the ability to uh, phenotype plots at individual uh, plot scales. Before uh, using satellite data without this high resolution, uh, we're not able to get individual plots and so it's harder for researchers to use this. So you'd either have to increase the size of the plots or, um, well, or, fly, or fly with a drone, uh, which is uh, difficult, you know, it's more cost uh, and efficient. So in addition to that, it's very uh, easy to use satellite data in the sense that you don't need a pilot's license uh, to collect the data. Uh, it's timed where that it collects it at the same time every day. And then in addition to that, um, there's less post-processing down the line. So once you collect data with a drone, you have to stitch it and do some, a lot of other post-processing. Uh, the satellite data minimizes a lot of that work. And then uh, the last piece of this is too is that um, with the IRA project, uh, we have a very uh, large number of institutions that we're working with and a very large geographic scale. So this year is our first year with collecting satellite data. Uh, on that you know, geographic scale, you can think about how long it would take to drive from one site to the other. So either you need to have one person with a single drone that goes every site, that's a lot of drive time, it's a lot of work, or you have to have people at each institution collect that data. And that works fine for the most part, but the problem is that different institutions may have different sensors on their drones. And so it's, it's similar but not the same. With satellite data, it's the same sensor every time, so you're comparing apples to apples uh, across comparisons. So that's kind of, a, you know, just kind of a little overview of like why we're, why we're looking at satellite data and seeing how you know, beneficial it can be for us, but also for hopefully for farmers in the future as well. What we're cap uh, trying to capture here is high resolution satellite imagery. Uh, the, uh, the satellite that we are uh, targeting is uh, called uh, Pleiades Neo and it captures a resolution of 30 centimeter across 30 centimeter per pixel. So it gives a very fine, a fine detail uh, and it's very beneficial for researchers to uh, use that data for uh, you know tasks like monitoring and stuff. Uh, other than that, uh, it, major advantage of using a satellite is like it it will capture multiple bands of information which is well, some of which will be visible and some of which will be in near infrared. So especially near infrared has shown to uh, give values or shown to indicate the uh, plant health and it's uh, very important for uh, important band for us to consider and capture for the entire field. So we plan to use uh, machine learning methods to extract uh, valuable information from the satellite imagery uh, and combine this uh, information with uh, uh, weather data and uh, other plant characteristics that we can capture on field and use all of this information together to predict uh, uh, above ground biomass of the, plant, of, of the field and uh, predict the yield and also for, uh, use it for plant health monitoring. Uh, the people who benefit from this will both be breeders, uh, researchers, and farmers. Like I said before, uh, from the breeder and research perspective, being able to collect data on a lot of small plots relatively quickly and very efficiently uh, will really help with hopefully advancing you know, yield prediction, yield forecasting, things like that. In addition with that, the yield forecast and yield prediction is also something we want to be able to scale to farmer level fields so that farmers are able to predict yield. And this builds off of the work that I'm doing with Sura Deep, where we're doing you know, ground-based and UAV-based uh, yield prediction, but hopefully we can eventually scale that to a larger scale with satellite level data. The second part uh, that we think about a lot is the crop health monitoring. Uh, so we were working with a farmer and he was talking to us about a fall armyworm infection. Uh, it happened to be really bad in his part of uh, Iowa last year and it kind of came in you know, very quickly and it spreads you know, incredibly quickly. So he had gone out to his alfalfa field on a Friday night and went and you know, scouted the edge of the field, everything looked good. He came back Monday or Tuesday morning and the entire field was decimated. So they lost that cutting of hay for that year. Uh, and so that got Dr. R.D. Singh and myself thinking about like, was there a way that we could have detected this had we been, you know, set up some system for monitoring this? So we went and looked at some, some satellite data, you know, post, uh, and what we saw is that what you saw was that there's severe depression in the uh, plant health index in the middle of the field. So it's something that the farmer missed when he was scouting because you know farmers typically are managing you know hundreds, thousands of acres, so it's hard to be able to manage every inch of it. Um, and so with this, if we had set up some system where we're monitoring, getting fast uh, you know, data back quickly from the, the remote sensing agency, and then you know being able to do actionable items. You know, we may not at this point be able to tell you, you know, this is fall armyworm, but we can say, hey, you might want to go check out this portion of the field and it's something you might have missed. And you know, hopefully they can now then apply management. So whether it be you know, an insecticide, pesticide, you know, something of that nature.